What's up guys? This is the last video. We're going to be wrapping up our weather application. All we need to do is set up that little Yahoo widget that shows at the bottom and uh, shows the weather. So we're going to be doing that in the home page. So if you go into components and then home, um, we're going to be using a header from Semantic UI. And we're going to add a constructor, props, super props. And then we're going to create a Yahoo widget. And it's going to be needing to access the props to get data. So that's why we're binding it here. So Yahoo widget. And we're going to return nothing for now and then in a render function we're just going to call this dot yahoo widget and show that underneath our form and then in our yahoo widget we're going to be first getting the uh, query and we're just going to do some quick double checking to make sure it is valid um, if it's not valid, we don't want to show anything. So if query and query dot results. So it makes sure uh, this is making sure that query exists and that resists or results exists. Uh, that we got in fact a good response. If we didn't, uh, just return false. Returning false just renders nothing. Uh, for this element. Otherwise, uh, that means we got some HTML. Um, now, I, I want to see if I can show you guys what that looks like. I'm just going to give this a try real quick. Change this to New York because New York seems to work a lot better for some reason. And it does awesome. So if we come down here, you notice that there's this description. This is the widget that we're going to be using. Um, so to get there, um, let HTML is equal to query dot results dot channel dot item dot description. That will give us this big string, and this string is actually HTML. Um, if you get rid of this beginning part and this end part, the rest of it is valid HTML that we would like to show on the screen. We just need to get rid of those front beginning parts. Um, I'm just going to do a search and replace to get rid of them. And then once we do that, we just need to render this string as HTML. Um, React, uh, you need to be careful when doing this because you can uh, let you get ex uh, you know, into problems where you render bad HTML code and you can get hacked. But yeah, who's a reputable source, we're getting it from here, so it should be fine. Also, this is just a little test site, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But uh, React warns against doing what we're about to do, uh, as you'll see in the syntax for it. So html.html.replace, so we're just going to do a little regular expression here. Um, we're going to either replace, we're going to be replacing this, And we just need to escape these guys, or the bar, or we're going to be replacing uh, that. Mm -hmm. Close the parenthesis, slash g, comma, and then replace it with nothing. Um, so that this nasty little regular expression right here. What that does is it removes this C data and that. So it removes these two guys from that HTML. Um, next, we're actually just going to return it. So give us a little div. We will do um, a little line break to separate us again. And then we'll create our header as an H3. And we'll align it in the center. 
and then we're going to say query dot results dot channel dot description. Um, note that this is different from item dot description. This is just going to give us the uh, name of the location that we looked up. And then here we're going to actually just show uh, the HTML. So to do that, you type dangerously set enter HTML and do underscore HTML and then pass in HTML. So as you can see, React wants you to be very careful when using this. Um, in this case, it's fine. But if you're taking, for example, user input or something, uh, you leave yourself susceptible to someone doing bad code, putting it in here. And uh, it's called, I believe, uh, I think it's XSS or something, hack or something people call it, um, that you leave yourself susceptible to when doing this. But we're getting your data from Yahoo, it should be fine. Um, all right, so that should be good. This should work. Um, let's watch it in action. And we have a syntax error, of course. Oh, I just forgot to close the div here at the end of my Yahoo widget. Come back over here and reload for me. Is there still another error? Header is looking good. Div is looking good. What doesn't it like? Return. Oh, my return statement here um, should not be a object. <laughs> there we go. And okay, it likes it better. I have a random semicolon. Let's see where that's coming from. Interesting. So if I do inspect, and I come over to my React Dev Tools, will it show it to me? Where the heck that guy's coming from? It's coming from my form. It's coming from my submit form. Okay, so I'm just going to open up my form real quick. Components, simple form, and see if we can find this little semicolon on the loose here. Just maybe, well that's not going to do it. Is it, it'd be from content or something. Let's see where my button is. Nope, submit looks okay. Weird, I must have like an extra semicolon somewhere. Anyway, this might be hard to track down and for now it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just gonna not worry about that for now. Um, so let's use this to find a location. So New York, and that puts that here, and where it looks like it's not working. Unknown prop, dangerously set in our HTML. Oops, looks like I have a little typo here. Dangerously set in our HTML. HTML is all capitals. Okay, so now we can search New York again. And closing that off, we see Yahoo weather for New York, New York, US. Um, and then we see this little icon thing here and the current conditions. Okay, awesome. So our weather application is done using Redux forms. We can allow us to type in here and then send the data Redux Saga and then Redux Saga does an API call in the background to Yahoo getting us the data, updating the state using Redux Reducer and then the UI changes when the state changes right here. Um, and then we also have some error handling in case you don't do a, a location or if you do a bad location um, just to kind of filter stuff out. So our application is done. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any more questions about Redux Forms or Redux Saga, please leave a comment below.
and I'd be happy to answer your question. And ooh, before we leave, found my little semicolon right there. See if it refreshes if that guy's gone. And it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching.